Hello, I'm very happy to invite you uh, today to the 1965 Reformation Lectures. That's right, 1965. The lectures have been canceled this year, but as has been the uh, custom in many other venues this year under these circumstances, uh, we've turned to virtual conferencing. Now, the, con the lecturers and the topics for uh, next year or for this year, will be here, God willing, next year. But today we've gone uh, into the past uh, for the lectures, back to the tape recordings, no video, but tape recordings, of the, re of the very first Reformation lectures in this long 55-year series. So back, it was a cold March, snowy day, and a big crowd came out in the snowstorm to hear this well-known theologian from Germany and Australia uh, speaking. Uh, the banquet room in the Viking Motel, which at the time was halfway down Madison Avenue, uh, was filled with people who had come to this event. The speaker was Dr. Herman Sasse. At that time, he was widely known uh, throughout the world, but it went very well through translations uh, in the United States of the book. Uh, one of his books uh, that are drawn much attention was uh, Here We Stand. Uh, the German title of it would have been translated uh, What Does It Mean to Be Lutheran? And also uh, people knew about his book This Is My Body, which uh, uh, discussed the Reformation doctrine of the Lord's Supper. He was also fairly well known uh, because of his letters to Lutheran pastors, uh, which some of which have been uh, had been published in the Wisconsin Synod Quarterly uh, Quartal Schrift. Now, a little bit about Dr. Sasse and how he came to be our guest uh, in 1965. When Dr. Sasse died in uh, 1976, the Lutheran Sentinel. Uh, an October issue, printed an article entitled In Memoriam, Dr. Herman Sasse, and it was by Dr. B.W. Teigen, who was president of the college at that time. He had been the one who was instrumental in bringing Sasse to campus. And he wrote in that article about Sasse, he said, we must say that he was one of God's gifts to the church. And we still see him that way. In a later essay, President George Orvik described the impact of Dr. Sasse on the Evangelical Lutheran Synod. He said, it was through the influence of Sasse that a deep running commitment and revitalization of Lutheran confessional theology took place in our synod. Dr. Sasse forced us to, to ask questions about our understanding of Lutheranism, about law and gospel, and indeed about authority in the church, the doctrine of the church and ministry, and a host of other issues. After over a hundred years on American soil, with many doctrinal controversies and influences from many different directions, questions had to be asked about how far our churches had uh, been able to maintain uh, the heart of Reformation Lutheranism. Now, though it took place in March of 1965, Herman Sasse's appearance at Bethany Lutheran College is now considered to be the beginning of his 50 of, of this 55-year series of lectures, which, after the first ones, came to be held during Reformation Week at the end of October every year, and it was called the Reformation Lectures. A few years ago, they were rededicated as the Bjarni Wallon Teigen Reformation Lectures in honor of uh, the former President Teigen. In that, in memoriam of 1976, B.W. Teigen gave a brief biography of Sasi and explained the connection that brought him to our campus. He wrote, Dr. Sasse was born in Germany and spent his youth there when that nation was a prosperous world power 
at the beginning of the 20th century. He attended the university with the intention of becoming a Lutheran pastor, but at the completion of his studies, World War I was raging at its fiercest. As a result, he was drafted as a foot soldier going through some of the bloodiest battles of that war. And you'll note that in the first lecture, he makes reference to that battle, and it's a very gri gripping experience, a, a, a glimpse of that experience. When he was able to get back to civilian life, uh, he was called to be the pastor of a parish church and was uh, committed, deeply committed, to preaching uh, to his parishioners the pure gospel as it was expounded in the confessional, in the confessions in the Lutheran Book of Concord. By 1933, his talents as a scholar and as a profound student of Christian doctrine and church history were recognized by his being called to the University of Erlangen as a professor in history of in the history of doctrine. Continuing with B.W., Dr. Sassi raised his voice against both the old theological liberalism still found in Germany even after World War I and against the, and against the newer Barthian neo-orthodoxy, which was sweeping Germany during the Depression and threatening to turn Lutheranism into some kind of reformed Calvinism. He also early saw the dangers of Hitlerism uh, to the state of Germany. Dr. Sassi continued to serve as professor at the University of Erlangen until 1941, when he withdrew from the university and the Bavarian Lutheran State Church because that once conservative church had finally given up Lutheran confessional, the Lutheran confessional principle uh, by joining the evangelical uh, church in Germany which was made up of both Lutheran and Reformed and Reformed and had agreed, who had agreed to disagree uh, 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 on, on the, in matters of Christian doctrine. B.W. continues, 16 or 17 years ago, in some way, which I cannot quite now remember, he says, we began corresponding and carried uh, and, and carried on an earnest correspondence until a year or two ago, when Dr. Sassi became quite frail. In March 1962, six or seven pastors from our Evangelical Lutheran Synod, Synod uh, together with two or three laymen of our doctrine committee, met with Dr. Sassi in an all-day meeting in Minneapolis. He was pleased to know that our synod was committed to proc the proclamation of God's word in its truth and purity and to confessing the doctrine of the Book of Concord. Three years later, Bethany's Convocation Committee invited him to deliver a couple of lectures to the public on, press on pressing problems uh, facing Lutheranism. By that time, he was well aware of the doctrinal deterioration that had taken place at Concordia Seminary, St. Louis. His lecture on the impact of Bultmanism on American Lutheranism had a profound effect on the large audience that had come out in the midst of a snowstorm to hear him. And B.W. Pertigan then quotes from a letter from Dr. Sassi that he had uh, received, quote, uh, that he had never forgotten that wonderful day in Mankato where the old synodical conference seemed to be alive. The meeting has always been a favorite recollection, a treasured rec rec uh, a recollection. Godspeed, uh, Sassi writes, uh, the day when a new Lutheran conference will unite what has remained of the loyal in the faith. And now let's go back to that snowy day in March 1965. 